Hello everybody, my name is Gummy D, and because it's getting closer to the Halloweens, and because somebody I know asked me to play this game, I'm going to play Slender of the Eight Pages. Oh, I spooked. Super spook. It's extras. Uh, yeah, okay, good. Uh, no, don't want to do that. Alright, um, yeah, no. It's been a while since I played this. I've, I played this when it was first real big. Oh, I guess I could have turned off the intro. Oh well. We're sneaking into the park at night to go be friends with the Slender Mans. Yeah. Oh, it's been a while since I've I've played this. I I remember playing this one, and then um, for a little while there was. I can't remember what it was called. There was another game that it, it was the same as this, as Slender, uh, as as this mo. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, we good? Are we gonna be fucking gross? It's it's gross. Oh, uh, I don't remember how shitty the game. Well, laggy it is. I mean, I feel as if this is good. This is good, yeah. This is good. This is good. I'm just strolling in the dark. There's a big old tree. It's the Deku tree from Zelda's. It's gonna talk to me. It's gonna be my friend. Uh, I played. So I played this one, but I played a different one more. And the other one I played was. Uh, okay, so there's a note there. Don't look, or it takes you. I got it. All right, so shit's about to go down. Um, no. So I played. What was the other one I played? Uh, I can't remember what it was called. The other one I played is like. There's different maps that you can choose from. And when I first heard of it, it was like, you know, a free download. But now they've done like a little thing where, you know, if you'd like, you can, uh, you know, donate a little bit of money and get it. But it was cool because it, it, it gave some more stuff. It gave you more levels to explore. Although it was the same thing over and over again, basically. You know, to find stuff. And get home. Mm. To be honest, I've played a lot of games like this in the last little while. Not like slender games, I just mean games that are like this setup. Which is go collect a bunch of things and then you can escape. Yeah, we're gonna go in here. I'm going here. See, I don't know where any of the stuffs is. Just go. There's a chair. La da da da. Oh good. Am I gonna dead now? Is he gonna get me? Da da da. Are you in there? I don't fucking know. Fuck that shit. What kind of toilet is that? That's stupid. I don't like it. Oh, good. Tankers. I think there's a, a thing over here. I remember I would have been. When this became popular, I would have been in like high school and whatnot this game and I remember because I had my laptop no I did it wasn't a laptop I had um, a thumb drive with this game on it and in the art room we would uh, plug it in because we had computers for research not really you know I wanna look up this artist to see how his drawings look stuff like that so we would do that and I would bring 
thumb drive and we will plug it in and then there's this one kid it's good good guy I like him haven't talked to him in a while gonna call him John we can call him John so little John here little John yeah yo um, we we made him play it because he doesn't like scary games and it was good because we were locked in we like, actually it wasn't during art that's right this was during lunch because we were allowed in the art room at lunch as long as we didn't let anybody in so we turned the lights off in the little computer area and we made John play and boy was that a good time he's freaking out before he even saw the slender man's saw a paper on a tree freaked out pooped his pants I don't know if I'm gonna beat this I'm just gonna play it I don't cuz like to me slender man it's not him that's scary it's the stories that are scary cuz they're well crafted I don't know it's just creepy Boop -doop. As you can tell again, my throat is hurting once again. Should have got some cough syrup or something, or maybe some water. Water would have been good. I was playing Smite for the last couple of hours, talking to a friend as we played. So I probably could have used some water. That'd probably be a good good idea. Huh. I haven't really gotten a sign of him. But that's because I know you should never look behind yourself. Because if you look behind yourself, he'll get you every time. I'm a strong believer in that if you've played Slender enough times, that it stops being scary. Oh, oh, where is he? Where are you? Am I walking right into him? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? I didn't see him. He was just a blurry mess. What is this shit? Options. Skip intro. Fog? I didn't see any fog. Grass level. Dirt tree detail. Gotta get that extra tree detail. God damn. Clickety click. Alright, here we go. I don't know. I remember this game being faster. Did you see him? Because I didn't see him. I don't know where he was. Did I? Oh, did I just like... Is there no there's the boundaries are clearly marked by fences. I don't fucking know what I just did then. I found two pages though. That was that was good. That was good indeed. Let's go over here. Mr. Slandermans. If you was in here, would you like to be friends? Cause me and you, we can go get a six pack and split it and drink it and talk about life. Wants to be your friend. I do. So no, I I I think Slenderman the stories are way creepier than the game. Cause come on. Is there a note in here? No, it's a chair. Oh no, not cracked tiles! Oh, the horror! Rrr, rrr, rrr. Okay. Well, he's not gonna come out until I pick up the first page. So, where is the first page? Some dirt. Dirt is good. I like dirt. Hmm, crickets. The thing that always confuses me about this game is why would you come into the forest alone at night by yourself? This doesn't explain anything. 
Anything at all, it does not explain. Are you a note? Yeah, you're a note. Okay. This is probably the hardest one to grab. Because once you grab it, you have to escape. Ooh, spooky. Okay, so from here, if I take this path. Yeah, okay, I can grab another one over here. And it's on this far one over here. I think, maybe. Yes, are you over here? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, there it is. Always watches, no eyes. Well, how do you know he doesn't have eyes? Maybe he just has eyes in a different place. Not everybody looks the same. Oh, where is he? What the fuck? Is he over there? Oh, there he is. Hi! I'm just gonna go this way. He's just standing there. It's not like... See, I don't know. I feel as if... Wait, what game is it? I don't know. If the enemy doesn't chase me, it's less terrifying because he just stands there. So all you gotta do is make sure you don't get too close to him. I think. I don't know. This has been a while. I just... I don't know. On another note, seeing how we're playing spooky scary stuff, um, I started listening to the No Sleep Podcast. That's a good podcast. If you like spooky stories, if you like creepypastas and stuff like that, No Sleep Podcast has some really good stories. I started at the beginning, but they had the one, I can't remember what it's called. It's like Midnight Train or something. That's not Midnight Train. It's like Strangers on a Train or something. I don't know. It's a good story because, like, it's creepy because it's just, like, it's got the false, oh, that's the bad guy, or, like, the, you know, the scary thing. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't, and it's just good. The synopsis is, uh, main character, it goes onto a train, and across from her, there is a little girl, and in bet or a little girl, and on either side of the little girl are, um are uh big burly dudes and then a creepy dude comes onto the train on a stop and then that's the setup and then after that it gets quite good oh look a wall yeah a brick wall okay i haven't played this in a while i don't remember a fucking brick wall that's just weird i'm assuming like the set pieces in this game just, just scream terror. Just scream it! At the top of my lungs, which I can't do because my throat hurts. Oh, he's right there. I would like that note, please, sir. I wonder if I go around if I can, like, maybe trick him. Hey, buddy. Are you still over here? Look at that can't run that's a lot oh the music got more intensified ooh spooky ah uh, where is he i don't see him oh there he is he's right beside me just going to run this way run past all these trees oh well that was good i'm glad i ran over to the fence here i am on the fence I, re I really want to play um, Evil Within, and that's because I very much enjoy horror media, video games, and oh, where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. If I don't see him, he's not real. Uh, I very much enjoy horror media. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. I don't know where I'm running. I think I'm safe. No, I'm stuck behind a tree. There's a fence there. Did I make it? Did I make it? I think I made it. I think I'm safe. Yeah, we're good. I really enjoy horror media. I got uh, a bunch of movies. 
Got a handful of very well designed. I got, I got a handful of games. Uh, some of which I like more than other, but really, for me, most horror games have something I enjoy. I mean, this game has a good atmosphere. I mean, it is creepy, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, gameplay wise, this has been done better. It now, since then. Like, I mean, when this first came out, this was sweet. But since its uh, release, I've played a number of games that are just as creepy, if not better. In fact, that Slenderman Shadow, that's what it's called. So this is Slenderman in the eight pages. And then there's a game called Slenderman Shadow. And that one has a bunch of different, um, a bunch of different maps and stuff. But, uh, yeah, no. I thought I should play this one to refresh myself. Maybe I'll play Slenderman Shadow too. That one was a little bit creepier, and the reason for that was because, uh, of the areas. Some, cause like, here's the thing. Force is pretty open. It's kinda, oh, I'm back here. Forest is pretty open. I if I need to, there's a lot of places to run. Uh, Slenderman Shadow, one of the areas is, actually, most of the areas are indoors. Which means, a lot harder to maneuver. It's, it's scary, okay, in a scary game, it's scarier to be in a confined space, at least to me, than it is to be in an open area like this. Cause like here, there's lots of areas I can run. But in uh, some of the Slenderman Shadow map, the one I can remember is the house, not so easy. Cause it's very, you're very confined. There's not much place to root, move. But no, I also, yeah, no. What I, really, I was talking about other, I was talking about, talking about horror media. Horror, not whore. Horror, rah, 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 rah. Um, no, games, I got some, I got a lot of movies. I, I really enjoy movies. Specifically ones that are just freaking crazy. Just weird as shit. Like, a lot of my horror movies that I own aren't all, you know, ooh, it's spooky. Like, it's not all scary. Sometimes it's just like, oh, we're gonna take a character that's, you know, supposed to be scary and just make it kind of funny and really gory and just kind of more of like a grindhouse. Okay, so there's a thing on here somewhere. There was last time, I mean. Am I crazy? Okay, I guess I'm crazy. Whatever. Watch, I probably missed it. I probably missed it. It's getting fuzzy. Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. Ah, fucking A. This flashlight's goddamn useless. I don't even know where I'm going. But, uh, okay. So, for things that of the horror genre, I really enjoy comics. And I actually have a fair... A good, a good little collection of such from, um, I have, uh, R Richard Corbin's, like, collection from, uh, creepy and eerie comics. Those are really cool. Those are, those are really old school. A lot of them are, like, black and white. And they have the, they have that old comic, like, that old comic vibe. I don't, I don't know how to explain it better than that. It just has that style where, like, when, when you see an old comic book compared to a new comic book, you're like, oh, yeah, that's definitely, like, old, like, 80s era, like, earlier than that. Just, it's it's old looking. And I, oh, oh there's a tree. So I, I really enjoy the Richard Corbin one that I have. And then I have, uh, what is it? I can't remember what it's called. I should remember it because I really enjoy it. Uh, it's like def not defenders, guardians of. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's like it's about these animals, specifically like actually it's all it's about like six dogs and a cat or something. I think it's six, and like. 
how they face evil and stuff and it's just it's cool like it's all about supernatural stuff uh, there's a werewolf one in that that's cool it's just it's 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 cool it's very well written the artworks very nice it's not like oh god like can't sleep at night scary but it, it's it's got a good like it's very it's it's got the good themes going on it's got all the stuff you want um, what else is there uh, Higarashi that's that's a manga that's a good one if you've never hello yes is it me you're looking for I think he's getting mad because I've been wandering too long bro it's not my fault I just oh no I did why did I die? Is it because I wandered too long? <laughs> uh. Okay, we'll do we'll do one more. Cuz I'm talking about stuff still. Um So yeah, no. Higarashi's a good one. It's it's also an anime and it's it's, it's very it it's creepy because it doesn't make sense the first time you kind of go through it like it's separated into arcs and each arc tells its own retelling of the story from different perspectives with different events happening and at first you're like so is it all connected and we're just seeing from different points of view or is there different things and as you get more into the story things start to be like oh wait what's going on here and oh what like it's just it's it's cool because it just the way they make the story how it's written which also if you like games uh Higurashi when they cry is also a visual novel which is kind of a game i think and that's cool too i mean they also have uh i think there's like several games for the PlayStation 2 uh there's one for the PSP there's a, there's a lot of Higurashi games and stuff. It's quite popular. Unless you don't watch anime or read manga, then that's something you wouldn't know. But, trust me, if you like scary stuff, that is something to check out. Um, what else? What else? I have uh, the Hack Slash, uh, like, anthology or whatever. Like, it's, a, it's like a collection of all the Hack Slash comics in order. I like that. I want a hack slash game so bad because it seems like such a, a good idea. Then again, when I think about it, the problem is is that if they were to make it, it would probably be like 3D and gross and just not very well. Like it, I don't know, because like hack slash could be an awesome beat 'em up game. But I would say if they were to make it, it should be made in like it should be made like in hand drawn sprites and like. It should be almost like uh, playing Turtles in Time or something like that. Just like an awesome beat -em up like that. Because Hack Slash, if you don't know what that is, is it's, um, it's a comic series about these two characters who kill uh, slashers. Like, basic, they kill serial killers, but they're not like, you know regular serial killers they're not ones that we could probably throw in jail or something they're like somehow part supernatural or like they do something it's like what you would see in a slasher movie in fact in one of the comics Chucky's in it sweet everybody loves Chucky he's scary not really kind of he is I don't know if if you have a younger sister that has like a doll or something yeah I guess that could be kind of creepy I do. I mean, there's a couple. She has a couple dolls. It's kind of like, eh. Um, but no, just so yeah. Like they kill, they kill slashers, and it's just awesome. I think my friend's borrowing in that right now. Actually, now that I think about it, he needs to bring that back. I want to read it again. God damn it! I gotta talk to him. I'll ask him. I will ask him. In fact, I'll probably talk to him after this. I'll be like, yo, bitch, where's my book, bro? Actually, he has some of my Higurashi books too. God damn it, he just has everything of mine. Anyway, um, what else is good? What else is good? I think that's a. I have. I went to the comic shop a little while ago, actually, 
and they had some like retro old school um like golden era like uh vault of horror comics and stuff so i picked up a bunch of those they're not in, they were in very bad condition which is why they were like i think it was like i think it was how how was it i think it was like 10 for like five bucks or something like that or like a dollar a piece okay where's the thing it's in here somewhere i know it is um no god damn it i don't fucking remember where the or does it change no it does it shouldn't change it should be in the same exact goddamn place it was last time but no i got some of them and i haven't really flipped through them yet but i definitely should just because i don't remember, like i picked i pick ones that look like they were in good condition as well as had like kind of a good cut like had an interesting cover on them and it's like old school horror it's like some of those it's some of those things were like like with Stephen King where people are like oh yeah it's scary and you're then you're like the concept is scary but at the same time what the hell kind of drugs was Stephen King on when he thought of this like creature that is totally not a regular like horror creature it's just a just just something weird okay i don't know where the fucking thing is in there but if i go i don't know i'm just gonna go on my jolly merry way why don't i on my jolly merry way really cool if i had a map that would be nice let's see um but now for horror games I mean, I have Clock Tower 3, which everyone started watching, and then I had technical difficulties. And by technical difficulties, I lost the save data. So, yay. The Clock Tower 3 will be back, whatever, sometime. I don't know. Game's not... it. I don't know. The first little bit of it was kind of terrifying when you first start playing it, but then it gets like... Eh. Um, what else is good? What else is good that I own? Feels as if more of my horror games are on, like, um, my computer here. I think I, I have both Amnesias. I have, like, Alan Wake, which I feel as if is, like, a Stephen King horror, but it's still good. I don't know why. I just, I enjoyed Alan Wake. And a lot of people I talked to were like, Alan Wake, that that game was stupid. And I was like, you're stupid. I bought the Alan Wake novel or whatever, like novelization of the game, just because I enjoyed it so much. Also, because the first time I got it, I rented it. And then I had to take it back before I could beat the final area. So that was the thing. And that was when I didn't have a computer yet. Well, at least a computer that ran games good. So thus, I decided I would buy the novel because I could find it. And then I did, and it was okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The game, the game does a good job at telling you what's going on in it with the novel pages. And a lot of... Oh, there's Slenderman. Hi, bro. A lot of the novel is just the pages from his novel in game so i mean i thought that was cool um let's see what else we got what else can we talk about uh, i think i have i can't remember if i have them anymore but i had purchased the three resident evils that were on playstation one like the like the original um like the playstation one classics on my place ps ps3 I also have like uh, Resident Evil 4 on the PS3. I like that. Got Silent Hill for as a PlayStation 1 classic. Silent Hill probably being one of my favorite horror games. I was actually super disappointed when it wouldn't work for me this this month for uh, playing Silent Hill Origins. 
She just didn't want to cooperate on the PSP. Either of them. I had two, and it didn't want to work on either of them. I had I, I bought it twice. I bought it in a physical form, and then I bought it as a digital, and neither of them worked. Because every time I saved, the game would just crash. And in a game like that, you kind of don't want that to happen. Especially because you have to keep... Yeah, keep playing through the game. I don't know if it was just that one save point though, or if it's the whole fucking game. But I was so frustrated that I just didn't want to continue at all. I'm looking. I'm uh, because of that. I, I I looked up and there's like a there's a there's like a PlayStation Two copy. So I think I'm gonna buy if I can find that a PS Two copy. Cause I want to play that. Even though, from a lot of the reviews and stuff I hear, the game sucks, apparently. Oops. Uh, yeah, that's... I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. For, like, books, I have, like, the works of H.P. Lovecraft and some other, like, horror novels. And I think I might have a couple goosebumps left. Because Goosebumps are the shit. Actually, if I could find it, I would love to buy just like the complete collection of Goosebumps. Just that whole, just all of them. That'd be so wonderful. Just to have all the Goosebumps ever. Because some of those were really scary. Well, maybe not anymore, but I mean, they're still kind of spooky. I don't know. Okay, so we're going this way. I don't... Okay, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Does my flashlight die in this game? Is that a thing? Can my flashlight crap out and just be like, nah, screw you, you're dead. Game over. Or what the hell's going on here? Back of my head's itchy. Hmm. Yep. Mhm. Mm Mr. Man's of. S I, oh, have I backtracked? Where is he? I heard the sound. Where is he? Does he want to take me away to the land of candies and stuff so that maybe I can, you know, be done? Because I don't think I'm gonna find any more pages. Because I'm really not good at finding pages. Also, is this a different tunnel? It seems a lot darker than the last time I was in it. Music changed again. Does that mean I'm about to die? Does that mean I'm about to die because I haven't been finding pages? Is that how this works? Is this, is this how it works? Why is the sky getting so red? Fucking A. I'm back here again. Okay. Are you behind me somewhere? Do you want to come out and eat me? Please. Please. Please, end my misery. I'm not going to find any more pages. I'm quite certain on that. Oh, I can turn my flashlight off. Why would I... Oh, wait. Can my flashlight die? Is that a thing? Wait, there's another... There's a page over here, wasn't there? Maybe my flashlight can die because it seems dimmer than it was before. Okay. Mr. Mans of the Slender... Will you come out now, please? I'm actually getting quite ticked off. No, my flashlight is dying. I, I, it really is. I think I'm gonna dead soon. I think I've almost got the game overs. Cause I can't. Like. Okay, another thing. Who doesn't bring an extra battery? <sighs> Mr. Slanders, will you please end my misery? Misery, that's a good, that's a good book. 
It's a good short story. It's also a good movie. This is... Why is it so dark that way? Like... For rizzles. Can we just... Can we just... Can we just stop? Can we just maybe... It's getting real dark. I can't see where I'm going. What I'm doing. My flashlight's gonna die, isn't it? That's something that can happen, isn't it? I'm most definitely sure that's probably what's gonna happen here. Oh, sweet, a page! And who I thought was Mans of Slender. Yay! It's too dark to see now, though. So... Just gonna keep walking this way. And da 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 Oh, good. I'm just... Um, fucking... Shit. The terror, it is rising within me. Mans of Slender, where would you be? Also, why does it... The flashlight is dying, isn't it? Because I can't see shit no more. Is there a quit button? I just quit. Oh. Yeah, my flashlight's dead. So uh, now I just wander until I die? Okay, cool. I'm just gonna, just gonna walk through the forest until he comes to get me. If that ever does happen. Mm-hmm. Yep. Terrifying. I'm sorry, I just, I don't know. It's just not. It's not spooking me. But again, probably because I played this so much prior to actually doing a video on it. Oh, there's a tree in the way. Yay. Can. Oh, my flashlight's dead. Can you just come out and eat me, please? Is there a quit button? There's a quit button. We're just gonna, just gonna. I lost. I lost. It's been so long since I played. I also don't remember where anything is. So that's a thing. Anywho, uh, yeah, no. That was slender. The eight pages. I found four. Actually, no. All together, if you count all the pages, I found. I did find eight. So screw you, Slendermans. I found it eight. But, uh, yeah, no, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I, I'm gonna try and get Slenderman Shadows, and I'm gonna play that as well. Also, I need to reheal my throat, so I'm gonna go do that as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Have yourself a good day or night, and, uh, yeah, the bye, -bye.